Happy New Year, everyone. Hey, look at that new title screen. Wonder how that happened. So this is the December update, which I'm calling the player friendliness update because it's a I focused more this month on a better player experience. Uh, actually, before I log in, so I added some settings. Look at that settings. Awesome. You can change the screen size, window modes, animation skip is how many frames that should be like skipped per frame. This is good for like low end systems like mine. <laughs> can also like show and hide the FPS. I added music and sound effects volumes, even though there's no music and sound effects. You can apply, save, cancel. Look at these buttons. That's awesome. After you apply, it kind of reloads everything. So yes, as far as bug fixes, there's not too many. There was a few critical ones which caused game crashes, I tested and got it patched. So for the arena, the opponent power levels were incorrect. Like all these numbers right here were not correct. They are now correct and they match the opponent's power levels, which is awesome. So a couple skills that relied on the percent value of health, which was like executes a good one. So if health was below a certain percentage, it was not actually triggering instead of 16%, it'd be like 16 points. So that wasn't correct. I got that fixed now. Let's go to our miners, stay away from miners. So. So I updated to Python 3.12, had a couple issues with that, but everything compiled and this is the build that's up on the site now, which is awesome. The event world boss is showing the total damage instead of being capped by difficulty. If the boss health is like 100 and you do 500 damage, instead of giving you a score of 100, it would give you a score of 500. Isn't that neat? I changed the way skills work and of course buffs and debuffs so that they apply at the start of the attack action. So there's no, you know, attack while someone's already fainted because that's cheating. I, I, I adjusted all the health for the urgent boss so it should be easier to progress. It should be a lot easier to progress. I'm going to swap over to here and the running. The capture quest, there's a stamina bar now. Awesome. So it starts off low and as your character comes in, it starts to fill out. And depending on the type of world they have, if it's a fencer, they're going to automatically jump. Did not automatically jump because that wasn't a fencer role. I thought I had everyone as fencers. All right, I know she's a knight, so she isn't gonna work. But they will automatically jump if they have enough stamina over a log. And then, uh, of course, they'll have larger stamina based off agility. Look at that jump. Big jumps. Big jumps. Okay. I'm going to exit out of this. So if we go into here. Actually, you know what? Let me show off this, the shop next. So the shop. I've condensed everything, so instead of buying like single stacks of food, you can now buy quantities of food. The max value is based on how much money you have. So I can only afford 357 out of 640 chicken. If you go over that, no, it's not going to let you buy it. I'm not going to buy that. Yay. So, what was I doing here? So yeah, you can buy a stack of money. I need these, I always need these. The runestones. And of course, not for the equipment because equipment doesn't stack in quantities. Which means, let me go ahead and use the money because, yes, I've used the money. I'm going to level someone up. Uh, you would be this enemy. No, that sucks. I adjusted the values of the food and the money required to level up. And as you can see, I'm 
level 100. I just reached rank 7 for this playthrough, and it's a lot easier to level up now. Um, well, <laughs> it's a lot more affordable to level up. I'm broke again, off of two levels. Uh, oh yeah, also with the items and the consumables, so the item limit itself, um, I have 81,000 fish. I'm capping items to uh, 999,999, one less than a million, <laughs> basically. Anything overflow is just going to just, yeah, it's just going to go away. For items, these are going to be capped at 999, because, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a lot. It's going to take a lot to get up there. With the title screen and background, they used to be AI-generated garbage. Which, uh, I'm, my goal is to replace all the AI generated stuff and all the gray with textures. So, yeah, and of course that modal right there, it's a gray texture. Yes, yes, yes. So, the new reward screen, this looks a lot better. Instead of having stuff go down, it goes across first. And of course, it has a texture. Yes, everything has a texture. It's all textured. So if we do this quest here, I've increased the money and the food payout values as well. Basically giving the player more stuff. Also, I forgot to mention, on the reward screen, it now shows up to 45 items. Anything more than that won't be shown, but it'll still be given to the player. That usually happens on... Uh, if you let your mail stack up, if you don't log in for like a year or something, <laughs> all that's going to stack up. And uh, also on the buttons itself, um, I made them consistent. So this is called a font size 20 button. I've made them all consistent so that the minimum width is going to be 100. And of course they have the texture. The uh, the large models have these like rounded corners and texture. And that applies to everything, including like profile, the credits. Yes, and I moved. <laughs> Previously, I had the return button hovering over the logout. So if you were spam clicking, you just log out. Minor minor detail. Let me use test. Should use tests instead of December. December doesn't have much progress. The yeah, so yeah, better looking rewards. Haven't logged in 21 days on test because you know it's a test account. The what I'm going to do. Let me use you. So the syringe. I'm going to actually let me use this one. So Test now has well, more than enough materials to upgrade the tier. And when you click Upgrade, the coloring matches the tier it goes up to. Then with the tempering, green means it went up a value. Gray means gray, means it didn't change. And then red means it went down. So what you can do is just spam click this a whole bunch. And it's mostly green, as it should be. There we go. You now have 200 defense and getting up to 200 agility glasses. Deal glasses. Deal with it. These are the ultimate glasses. Nice, huh? Yep, that is it for the change log. So with the game flow adjustments, I've aimed to streamline it quite a bit so that a casual player, I should say, like a more hardcore player, those who play many hours a day and refresh the quests a lot, like just refresh, refresh, refresh. I don't, I don't ever, I think I cleared this one out. That's awesome. Where is Treshian? So, it should take um, like a couple weeks of just logging in every day and more dedicated player just playing several hours. 
they should be able to reach rank 7 within a few weeks, maybe even beat rank 7 in a few weeks. While a more casual player like me can reach it over the course of two months. Because you know what? Some people have day jobs, which makes it more challenging to actually do game development. Let me swap you two. It's a better setup. Because execute... You know what? Uh, we'll leave it like that, sure. So I drastically reduced the currency and food cost, as I've mentioned before. I'm wondering if this has story progress. No, okay. So I added tutorials for each quest. So the first time you play each quest, uh, the Goddess of Dragons is going to show up and she's going to do a quick little explanation. And she'll throw in her traditional insults. And this is for the harvest one, and they're tuned for each each one. So yes, better player experience means insulting the player with story. And then, poof, ta-da, she's going to pause. She's going to point out the good thing you should catch. Yeah, obviously don't miss it, but and of course you're going to catch the bad fruit. She explains what it does, and then, doink, I caught the good fruit. So this is, happens at the, oh, whoops. <laughs> so yes, if you miss one completely, it falls to the ground and does a ton of damage with more insults. Uh, I'm not gonna win this one, am I? Uh, this is so hard. Yes, I failed. Cool. I'm so bad at my own game. Yes. Normally this happens at the beginning, like rank 2 or so, so the mini games are gonna be a lot easier. And each one of these has tutorial. Uh, with this one, it would start off with a very small screen. I'll skip through this because... You need to actually play the game in order to see story. And for this tutorial, she's actually going to point out which ones you need. And in implementing this functionality, it also, every time you clear a tile, it checks to see if there is a possible match. If there isn't a match, it's going to say, hey, you need to reshuffle. These reward more. So by clearing it, it costs less to do, and then it rewards more money. So the player should be getting more money and food in order to get everyone leveled up. Easy stuff, right? That's about it. It's a lot more player friendly. Yes, trust me. <laughs> cool. This has been the one year anniversary of development, or one year milestone, basically. But yeah, this is live. Go download it from psychopaths.com slash fantasy underscore waifu underscore collector. Nice and easy to remember, right? Yes. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and more importantly, join the Discord because you can see all the updates there. You can also participate in game development and you can see the progress of this game as it goes. And yes, more importantly, have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.